This is Vortex-Based Mathematics. About 50 years ago, a guy named Marco Rodin discovered an equation so eloquent that involved nine numbers around a circle. So when you follow what these numbers are doing, you get doubling. When you follow one, uh, one doubled is two. So you follow that line, it goes to two. Two doubled is four. Four doubled is eight. Eight doubled is sixteen, but one plus six is seven. Sixteen doubled is thirty-two. Three plus two is five. Thirty-two doubled is sixty-four. Six plus four is ten. Ten plus one plus zero is one. And no matter how far you double, you get one, two, four, eight, seven, five. One, two, four, eight, seven, five. Um, and this doubling sequence is essentially defining um, motion at an angle. Doubling is motion at an angle, or what we call angular momentum. It's what spins the atoms in our body, the Earth on its axis, the solar system, the galaxy, the whole universe. And so... What's the 369? Because you notice the 369 wasn't in that doubling sequence. Well, if you follow 3 and 6, 3 doubled is 6. 6 doubled is 12. But 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 doubled is... No. 12 doubled is 24, but 2 plus 4 is 6. 24 doubled is 48. 4 and 8 is 12. And 1 plus 2 is 3. These numbers oscillate, and the only thing that oscillates is magnetism. What's the 9? Well, the 9 is its own entity. The 9 represents something that we call etheron energy here in Vortex Math. Um, etheron energy is a surging, pulsing energy that keeps us conscious and alive. Uh, it's the beating heart of all existence. So you might be wondering, well, how can we harness this zero-point energy? If we can achieve that then we will end the energy crisis forever. We will get clean, inexhaustible, free energy. And so, by combining it with a coil, such as this one, a toroidal-shaped coil with a very particular winding path, and then by placing a magnet in the center, I believe that the angular momentum will spin the magnet in the center of the coil, thus creating free energy. And so I am going to be working on this and conducting my own experiments. I have copper wire and I have donut-shaped objects. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do.